what's going on guys mr j here with another video today i'm gonna show you how to create an itunes account with no credit card required uh, this will be for people wanting to use the iMessage, the downloading applications, making FaceTime, FaceTime calls, all without the need of a credit card. This will be a simple process to do if you follow my directions as I tell you. So we will get started. And so the first step you will do is go into your computer, open up iTunes, and go into the iTunes store on the iTunes application. This should pop up on your screen once you're, at, you're in the iTunes store and you will then go into the App Store by clicking on the top there and from here you will go ahead and find any free application so I'll just click on Sonic Dash which is the top free application download it at the time of this video go into free and right here it'll give you an option to sign in to your iTunes account uh, in our case we're gonna go ahead and create an Apple ID it will prompt you to this screen there you just click continue you just read all of this crap here just a bunch of words and shit so just click on that little box there and click on agree and this will be the area in which you will fill in your email, security information, date of birth, all that good stuff there. So if you can take the time to do all of that stuff, make sure you put a real email address because iTunes is going to send you an email confirmation to confirm your account information and stuff like that. So after you're done with this, you will go ahead and click continue. And so when you click on that continue button, you will go ahead and see options to choose the payment type on your iTunes account. So in our case, we're going to click the non option since we do not have a credit card and click on the verify information at the bottom. And so after you do that, Apple's going to then send you an email confirmation from iTunes to go ahead and create your iTunes account. Again, this will be good for FaceTime calls, downloading applications, music, sending iMessages, and stuff like that. So after you've received an email, confirmed your email address with iTunes, you will go ahead and try to sign in into your iTunes account. Uh, just go ahead and just type in your Apple ID and password. So for now on, if you want to use FaceTime, iMessaging, or downloading applications, you, you would just go ahead and sign in with that same information you created on in a computer and just input it onto a mobile device, say like an iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So that will be pretty much it for this video, guys. If you found this helpful, you can give a like rating down below. You can always hit me up on my YouTube channel, Mr. J for President. Feel free to uh, ask me any questions or concerns. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.